Good morning YouTube. Today we're going to install a mini split air conditioner in the ultimate Ferrari garage. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan and this is my garage and we are completing up a rebottle. So we've torn out all the drywall, added insulation, added all sorts of stuff. Obviously the new lighting, put the floor in, got the vacuum in, got all sorts of stuff. The next thing I want to do is put a mini split up on that wall so that during the summer I don't die of heat. Also during the winter it actually will let me put in some heat so it actually does have both heating and cooling capacity so it's pretty cool. We already got a 220 line run so I had an electrician run the line all the way to the outside of the house so that's a perfect spot for the mini split to go just above that outlet that's a stud right there that that outlet is mounted on so we can use that as a reference point so we'll do our best to put it about what we think is the right spot hopefully have air conditioning working very soon all right so here's the air handling unit so we, i bought a pioneer these were rated pretty highly a lot of people said they're very good they're supposed to be perfectly silent and i bought it way oversized so people are going to say whoa you bought way too much well remember this is texas and this is a partially detached garage so yes we did add insulation but the problem is when you pull in really hot cars like these ferraris all this heat coming off the engine bay so like let, let's say i pull in two hot ferraris on a day where it's 108 degrees out there's no way a regular sized air conditioner is going to be able to keep up so i wanted to actually be able to cool it down under those conditions so i bought a two-ton unit so this is 24,000 BTUs. It's gonna be a bit overkill, but I don't care. That's gonna be great. It's gonna be good to have too much horsepower. First thing we're gonna do is get that wall mount set up and get the air handler kind of positioned correctly. Okay, so there's the air handler unit. Now it's out of the package. And this is the template that, well, I guess the mounting plate. So that actually is what gets mounted up on the wall. So we're gonna mount that into the studs. The screws that they gave me are really tiny. This is what they gave you to put that up on the wall. Um, considering I'm using 5 8 inch drywall, that won't even, like it would only get just barely the tip into the wood. So I'm gonna use these big ass screws because I really don't want that thing falling down. And then I don't have to use drywall anchors because we're gonna be going straight into the stud. So I think that's gonna be a safer bet. So again, we have a stud located right there where that outlet is. So we're just gonna kind of take that stud, use that as our starting point. So the only thing we have to figure out is exactly how high we want it. I don't want it all the way up at the ceiling, but probably about at the height of what that track is at. So that's kind of about what we're gonna target. We're gonna use a stud finder just to verify that we got the stud located correctly. I mean, it should be straight up from here. It's about like right here, maybe here is about where we wanna put it. Yep. All right, we got our level. Make sure that we're nice and level. So the next thing we gotta do is cut a two and a half inch hole about here. I'll get the exact marking in a minute. And the reason is that's where the actual refrigerant lines and the drain line and all that stuff are gonna go through that, go through the wall and go outside of the house. So we first will poke through the drywall then we'll actually cut through the house. But before I go through the house, I'm actually gonna go to the other side and make sure that we get all the existing wiring and lines out of the way because they're right basically there. So that's kind of why I wanted to mount it here. It's gonna be running with the other stuff. I just realized we were missing something. Moses. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? What you doing, Mr. Mo, huh? What you doing? You smell all the smells? Yeah, it's a totally new garage. Oh, whoops, sorry. I mean to scare you, everybody. Okay, let's cut this hole. All right, next thing we're gonna do is cut a hole using this two and a half inch hole saw. And it's gonna go right there so that the hoses can go through. We have to cut it at a slight down angle. So it's supposed to be like a quarter of an inch down angle. I'm gonna make a mess, by the way. There's a bunch of insulation. I'm gonna use a razor blade and just cut that out so we can get a clear line of sight into the board. Insulation's out there, you can cut a hole. All right, 
so I just finished wiring it so that wiring is actually under the front panel. This thing's like a garage door basically. It just kind of pops up. And uh, there's a little panel right here. You had to pop that off, unscrew this little black thing, and that exposed the wiring terminals. So now we've got this wire, which will actually run to the, the condenser unit, which will be through the wall. So that wire's gonna go through the wall, and then we also gotta connect the hosing, or the copper pipes that will actually run from the back of this unit. So we gotta get those on next. All right, we've got our copper pipe coil, and you can see here are the terminals that we're gonna have to connect those to. And then that will be run through the wall. We have to be really careful not to kink it or break any of those copper lines. So you gotta unfurl it really gently. But we're gonna connect those first and then we'll start threading the hose through the wall. All right, got the hose threaded through the hole. Just need to connect it here. And you can see it's coming out here. So eventually we're gonna have to run it down there behind this unit and then up up on the wall, we're gonna mount the, the condenser of the unit. Whew, okay, got the air handler mounted up on the wall. The pipes are run. Let me tell you, installing that by yourself is really tricky. Uh, definitely don't do that. That was dumb. I should have waited for someone, but oh well, it is up there. It looks good. Okay, we've got the electrical wire run from the disconnect into the unit, and then we have the wire that runs from the unit back through the wall into the air handler so that is all wired up now we're just actually mounting up the brackets that hold it onto the wall so we've got these concrete anchors that we have to kind of smash into the wall so yeah we'll do that Okay, the wall mounts are up. Now we have to lift this heavy beast up onto there and then bolt it down. Oh uh, yeah. All right, she's mounted up. Uh, we just gotta get the plumbing done, evacuate the lines, and then run it. Okay, uh, released the Freon, sprayed some uh, soapy water to make sure that there was no air leaks. Uh, everything seems to be okay. <sighs> the moment of truth, I think it's time to turn on the power. Alrighty the main panel and they actually threw it we repurposed the range because well we don't use a uh, range so just kidding all right all right we got it blowing let's see if it's blowing cold so far not really let's go check the compressor huh that's not running yet okay that's running and now we got the condenser running too it's actually really, really quiet. Listen to this. Wow, you can barely hear that. That's impressively quiet. I like it. Whoa, when I came back in, it is blowing super cold. Holy crap, that's cold. Wow. Okay, well, it says to test run it for quite a while, so we'll let it run for a while, then we'll run the heat and see if we can get it to generate some heat. Wow, that is cold. <laughs> Sweet. Hi, guys. So this actually looks way nicer than I thought it was. And so the garage is, it looks like it's coming together, thank God. And except one thing I will never accept is Dan says this is the proper way that oh. light switches go in, like apparently, no, oh. that's not how With anybody. The, little, the center dock facing down versus up. Nobody puts in light switches. If that's the proper way to do it, tell the whole world. I, now, I don't think there is technically a proper, but I it's normally, weirding me out, man. I, well, I can always flip them. I did it that way because partly, uh, like, I thought I'd seen that that's actually the way it goes, and then the sockets actually had text on it, and that's the way the text was correctly oriented. Oh, oh I hear the heat. I hear, I hear it working. Is it finally turning on the heat? Oh yeah, yes, there it, it goes. is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's turn on the heat. Well, I spent. It said to test run it for like 
you know, a few minutes. So I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, and then you gotta see the outside condenser unit. See how quiet it is? Oh, you had to punch through the stone. Yeah. How did you punch through the stone? Uh, with the masonry bit. What? A uh, masonry drill bit. How big a hole does it's that? Like, it's like that big. Oh, is that all? Yeah, there's four of them. Is this like gonna fall? No. Hell no, it's in stone. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, no, it looks like a heavy thing precariously perched. And the fact that, like, believe, baby, I believe in you, but this is kind of like... Okay. Hey, it's quiet. You like how quiet it is? Yeah, no, I'm afraid it's gonna smash the toddler next door it's one day. It's not gonna fall. Is it cool that we have it on the outside of the house like this? Is yeah. that, like, yeah, that's code? Fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's okay? Yep. Okay. That's where, when the AC guy came out and gave us a quote, that's where he said he was going to put it. Okay, yeah, because I imagine, like, the... Well, they can't, they can't put it directly above this. Yeah. Because they had to just blow the heat right into it. And we decided it didn't make sense to put it over here, because then you can't really open this... The door, yeah. And so... Is it level? It is. Well, yeah, so that's the crazy thing, is the stone is not flat. Yeah, no, I know that. So, like, this foot is sticking way out more than the other and also the ground is not flat right here yeah that's true so it's level it's just the ground isn't okay. it makes it look unlevel it's, it's like one of those like optical a, illusions yeah yeah because i was like checking and rechecking like what the hell okay so yeah no you made a lot of progress today i mean you yeah, feel this good is, this is like the last major component for those big cabinets coming. right those are coming monday oh it sounds like it's really blowing now holy crap feel the heat Whoa, that's that's intense heat. You'll be able to have Mo back in here in the yep, winter. Yeah, I already did. Did he like it? Yeah. Isn't that nice? This is working really effectively. Isn't it awesome? And it's super quiet, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's not loud at all. Said the guy who owns a Ferrari. Well, yeah. <laughs> You're happy. I am. With I think you did good. Oh, I'll take that. Yeah. Okay, except the light sockets. <laughs> Again, if that is the proper way to install light sockets, and if you find like the patent for light sockets back in 1800, and they say this is how they're oriented, fine. But then tell everyone else that, okay. because that's anybody who looks at that is gonna go, why are your light sockets upside down? Wow, I can feel the heat from here. I know. Damn, that's awesome. I'm very happy. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Meg's home. Neighbors are out playing. We're going to go do some stuff with the neighbors and enjoy the day. Ah, oh, that's so, so nice. I can't wait to actually be able to use it in the summer and in the winter. Heat and cool as sucker. Ah, oh, it's going to be super, super nice. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are amazing. We have lots of car stuff coming right. You're going to want to stay tuned. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, you lost.